hello friends welcome to channel 11 today i'm going to give some presentation about the stateless so how to develop uh, using stateless library in dot net technologies so stateless stateless is the a lightweight workflow library alternative for dot net this is a uh, small example so for that I have just downloaded stateless library from the NuGet just now I have installed I already implemented with simple example I'm going to give step by step how do I use this stateless library for our workflow Let's imagine you have one uh, scenarios like bug. I'll take it as the bug scenarios. So there is one bug raised. So what is the workflow normally we are having is first the bug should be open position. After that we are going to assign to someone. Suppose once you find found something it's not a bug, so you can make it as a default. Suppose if bug is valid you can close this is the workflow you, we are having so how we are going to achieve using stateless library this is pure on technical i will tell you how i have implemented <clears throat> so i have created the state enumeration object with following keys one is open, assigned, deferred and closed. So I have the one triggers. Enum also. It has the assign trigger and defer trigger and close trigger. This is the pure syntax. So even if you found on this these examples in uh, internet also. So, so after that I have created or read only field with the state machine object this is it has been provided by the stateless library this is the version I have used so it has a constructor it is, it is take as a state accessor and and action we have the func as well as action so and it has the single parameter and multiple uh, two parameters constructors so I have used a single parameter constructor for, our, for my example so in below so first so I have the generics so I have passed the my state as well as triggers object to the state machine class and after that I have the I have created the constructor for my class bug class which is accepting as a state to enum object and so here I am going to creating object for this uh, state machine and I am passing my state for initial what I am getting from the bug, bug constructor I am assigning to that here I have configured my permissions this is the most important here here we need to define the configuration based on our workflow so this is my workflow so based on this I need to configure the what are the permission as per this workflow so if I see if you see here if my state is open I am saying permit assigned and if I my state is assigned permit my workflow this so if I state is assigned state it can be close defer and it can be same so this way I have configured if it is state is assigned so we have multiple options here so we have permit ignore on entry source if you want on entry if you want to call something you can define here on entry from but I have not uh, explore all these things since I am also yeah recently I started exploring this one 
so going forward i'm going to update what i learned from this one so for today i'm going to explain the simple example so here i am we are going to give the all our permits as per our workflow like this if it is closer state what is the permission permit we are allowing for workflow if it is the deferred state what are the permi permissions in case of de deferred after deferred what you are going to do you are going to assign, some, assign to anyone or if you want to close the after deferred so all this we can configure configure here using configuration and so this is the configuration section now we have the three mod three methods one is closed one is assigned another one is the defer so this one i am going to utilize when, uh, whenever i am trying to use this class so if i if i call the close so it here i have written i am trying to fire my trigger this is the syntax we have the machine that fire and it will accept as a trigger so in trigger i am sending saying that my trigger is close so as per the if as per the configuration if trigger is close what are the permit it will check if it, so was after after if it is so my trigger is closed so here it will check so trigger is closed so i will t i will tell you i will uh, on demonstrate and i will explain how it works now if it, it is uh, check here if the trigger is closed what is the state so it will come here and it will check what is the next permit like this we have assign all assign as well as defer if it is assigned it will go for assign it will check for assigned so if it is trigger is assigned what is the state assigned so it will come here it will check for the permit like this with deferred also will work and here i am going to consume that class let me build it so here i am consuming my bug flow so I have created the object for the bug class. I am passing initializes open, open state. Now I am trying to uh, define my workflows here. So it is assigned. I am setting assigned. So after assign, what is the workflow? Close. So again I can go for assigned. So after that I am trying to defer it. So after defer I can go for assign and assign. So this is the exit. This is the correct this is the valid workflow let me go and debug this so i will go for f11 so that i can see what's happening in ba background so i assigned a my state as open and So all my configuration set and initial lead has been set to my state as open. If we see the state, it is open right now. Permit triggers is it's nothing has set any for, for now. So what is the configurations we have set? These are the configuration I have set. So these are all configurations. Let me go and continue. I'll run once again. So if you see here, nothing has get any exception because I have given valid the workflow. For first, it has been a call for assign, and after that, so let me go for one. So I did the rerun again. So 
so here I am setting the file as a my trigger is assigned so after so it is going to check here so after open so is it allow permit for assign so in my open state I am setting permit assign that's why it's allowed for assign after uh, after state open so, so that's why it says allowing same thing for close also if you go for close method so I am saying that after assigned after assign I said to close so that's why it says so, uh, it's allowing us allowing us to assign permission so like this it's it will continue so it is done let me go and give invalid workflow so what I was saying after assign close it allowed again I can assign I can allowed for I configure like after a uh, close also SN a load after SN also defer a load SN so so let me go and try to invalid workflow here like after a sign So let me go and like do something like uh, let me comment this. Workflow here. If you see here, our workflow is not defined as per this flow. If you see my our configuration, I am saying that in if it is open allow assigned permit so suppose if it is assigned allow these permits close defer if it is closed only allow assigned so what uh, I am trying to fire, fire is after close I am trying to fire defer so if you go for defer it's trying to trigger the defer so in our workflow if you observe here after my closed state I am only allowing the assigned not for defer so this workflow is wrong so let me go and run this one see what I am going to get the error so if, if you observe the error here no valid leaving transitions are permitted from state closed for trigger differ so it is saying it's not allow any not valid transitions are permitted so so we have not given any permissions after close differ so so that's why we are getting this error so if we close the observe here this is this way we can able to achieve the uh, achieve the workflows using stateless library I think I found this very useful so and very simple and it has very lot of uh, extra methods so we can achieve all uh, all functionality like suppose if it is assigned if you want to send any email here we have that we have we can able to achieve that kind of functionalities also with with these different methods so I have not explored it Go, going forward I am going to give that example also but today I am completing with this example so uh, friends I think it's going to give some idea for you to go for any workflows so this is one of the best example I can say in dotnet we can use this example thank you for watching my video please like it share it and also subscribe my channel for more videos